Hi guys, today I'm going to do my wedding budget recap. If you guys are new here, Mike and I did a courthouse wedding. We did not want something big. We're very much like, we don't like people staring at us. So we did a courthouse wedding and it was beautiful. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna hop right into it because I can ramble on. So my dress, I bought five different dresses off Amazon. I have a TikTok of the four that I did not wear. I need to post it. And then I will show you guys the one that I did choose. Um, but my dress was $39.99, $40, guys. That's it. And it was beautiful. It pictured nice. It was comfy. So definitely if you're trying to go on a budget, look on Amazon. You can also go on like Facebook Marketplace. People will sell their dresses. And you don't have to buy a brand new dress and spend all of this money on a dress if you're trying to go for a budget. There's also a bunch of other people on TikTok you can watch try on Amazon wedding dresses. And yeah, I am obsessed with it. So moving on to our flowers and our boutonniere. In total, it was about $50 for all the flowers and the stuff to make the boutonniere. Um, we made it. We got flowers from Hobby Lobby and we just made it ourselves. Props to my mom because I sat there, we sat there for like, I don't know, like three hours trying to put it together. And at the end of it, I was like, I do not like this. And I think it was just, I stared at it too long and I was nitpicking everything. So she like fixed it up and then showed me and I was like, okay, that is cute. So you can easily, easily, easily make them. It just takes time and... It turned out beautiful and I will show you guys, like I said, the flowers and the boutonniere at the end. So for my hair, this is where we splurged and this was the most expensive thing. So if you don't know, I used to have colored hair and I wanted to go back to a natural color for our wedding and I really have been wanting extensions. So that was about $600 for the extensions and... I will say I pulled that out of my savings account, but the reason that I was okay with it is because these extensions, as long as you take care of them, they hold up for about a year. So, I mean, you can say that was too much money, but I also didn't pay for my hair to get done the day of my wedding. So I styled my hair myself and I'm so, so, so glad I did the extensions. Like I said, that was literally the most expensive part of the day. So... Say what you will, but I'm obsessed and I will have them for a year or so. So I'm glad I did it. For makeup, that's a typical expense on a wedding day. I spent zero dollars because I did my makeup myself. I practiced a couple times before the actual day and just figured out what I liked and then I did it myself. That's a really easy way to save money. If you're not good at makeup, have somebody do it. Or if you want to feel pampered, have somebody do it. But we just got ready at home and then went to the courthouse and I did my hair and makeup myself. So I'm going to skip to the marriage license first. That was $60. We had to go obviously before the day of the wedding and get that. And that was $60. And they told us when you come back to actually have your little ceremony at the courthouse, it'll be $10. But they never charge us that $10. So I don't know what happened there if there was like somebody thought they had already did it or we were supposed to pay after but when we went down they thought we did it before I don't know but we never paid the ten dollars so there's that um so for Mike's outfit I'm gonna be honest I don't know the difference between a tux and a suit so whatever he was wearing he had already had it I think it's a suit maybe it's a tux I don't know but he already had his outfit and he wanted to wear it it was a navy blue suit tux whatever um and so we spent zero dollars on that as well and that would probably be a big chunk of a budget if you needed that you can also rent them or again find them on marketplace um i know for a couple of our friends weddings he had rented a suit or tux or whatever um from men's warehouse so you can always check with them see how much it is to rent Obviously, that's way cheaper than buying them. So, anyway, there was that. And then for his tie, we bought that on Amazon. That was $15.99. We ended up getting him and my parents, or both our dads, the same tie. They paid us back. So, they were all they all had the same tie. 
and yeah they were cheap but they looked nice they feel nice and you can't even tell um for our cake i have a question mark here because i'm not sure how much it was my mom actually paid for that as well and she ordered it we just got a simple white cake with a little border around the edge again i will show you that at the end and it was just about this big it was just for us for the photos and yeah we were gonna do like some flowers on it or whatever but we just went simple and i'm so glad we did it made the photos look so nice and yeah and then for our photographer it was 275 plus a tip mike actually paid her i will have her linked on my instagram when i post my photos she was amazing she is from the st louis area and she did incredible she went above and beyond for us she's focusing in on elopements and couple sessions and i am so 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 glad we picked her i cannot stress enough how amazing she was i think if we would have had anybody else we would have been like awkward and like the photos wouldn't have looked as good but she just made us feel so comfortable. We were laughing. It felt like we were friends. And I cannot stress enough. She was amazing. So make sure if you are in the St. Louis area and you are looking for a photographer, check on her. Because she is amazing. Moving on to my shoes. They were about $50. I have an asterisk here again because my mom did pay for those. I tried to pay for the things that she paid for she wouldn't let me so anyway my shoes were from dillard's they were on clearance and i'm obsessed with them they're pink again i will show you them but i love them and then lastly was my jacket so i bought a jean jacket off amazon it had pearls on the sleeves and then i put mrs blank my new last name on the back and i'm not going to show you that but it was 45.99 it's actually more expensive than my dress but it was perfect it was like when I woke up that day the feels like was negative one outside so in the photos outside you can tell we are freezing but we took a ton inside and it was fun because we just wandered around the city that day and like hopped into places and took places inside and then outside and like I said our photographer was amazing in that aspect so in total Technically, it was $1,146.97, which in theory, when you look at a normal wedding, they're like, what, $15,000 to $30,000? So, I mean, in total, that's crazy, and we didn't even spend all of this money. Um, and then I put actual total because I took out the stuff that my mom had paid for and my hair since... Yes, I did buy it for the wedding, but it lasts forever. Not forever, for like a year. So you could look at it that we really only spent $446.97. That is crazy, guys. Like, I cannot tell you enough how happy we are we did this route and did not go the big route. Um, we have not had our reception yet, so we had a tiny, tiny, tiny little celebration that night at my parents' garage, but um, we're doing an actual reception next month, so I don't know what we'll be spending on that, um, so we'll, we can talk about that later when we get into that. But I wanted to show you guys a couple photos to show you. Um, here is like me in my dress with the jacket. And then this was my um, bouquet. And I think it turned out so beautiful. Again, everything is from Hobby Lobby. Except for these little white, I don't even know what these are. Um, these little things right here. My mom had those in her living room and she just tore it apart and stuck them in there. Because she thought it would look good. And it did. So... That is my bouquet. I should also mention the jewelry I wore um, was my normal Pandora ring and then obviously this ring. And I did not have my Apple Watch on, thank goodness. But my necklaces were all from my mom. So um, I didn't pay for jewelry as well. And then this was just one I really liked. I'm sorry for the light here. I can't fix that. Um, but here is Mike's little boutonniere you can see and then my shoes down here they're these sparkly 
um, pink shoes and they were beautiful. I loved them. And this was like, we had no clue where to go because we were trying to not go outside for photos. This restaurant we were in here, it was closed and Mike had knocked on the door because he saw someone in there and was like, hey, can we go in and take photos? They were like, sure. So that was inside one of the restaurants. And then here was our little simple cake. We literally just started eating it with forks. And my mom had actually bought these glasses too. Um, I'm assuming they're from Hobby Lobby. They just say Mr. and Mrs. And uh, yeah. And then that was me shoving cake in his face. I think that's all, yeah. That's all the ones I'm gonna show you guys. But that was our little wedding. We had um, a private little first dance at this place as well. They had a tiny little stage and our photographer had brought a speaker. She played our song. We did a private little first dance. We did our cake test or cake cutting and cake eating privately. It was just perfect. So we have the photos to look back on and the memories and yeah. So that was our little courthouse wedding budget. I will see you guys back here for my cash stuffing. I hope everybody has a great week and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.